Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. Pick up your copy of the currency exchange planner below, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the dinar community. You will have the planner not only on your computer at home, but also have the currency exchange planner app on your phone. You will have everything right in your hand you will need to safeguard your exchange. The banks are counting on you coming in over emotional and in disarray to pull the wool over your eyes and take advantage of your newfound wealth. I always say it is better to be overprepared than not, also you will sleep well at night and have extra peace of mind knowing if the IRS comes knocking at your door, you will have all pre and post RV documentation needed on hand when they request it, and they will, as you will have plenty of money at that point and Uncle Sam will be wanting every penny they can get their hands on. Get your copy below, in the description today. I also highly recommend you register with the Carrot Bar Savings Program, if you have not checked it out yet, now is the time to get involved so your money is protected from the pending upcoming financial crash, it's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else as de-dollarization occurs and everyone else loses their hard-earned cash in the banks. Get yourself registered today, and be a part of the savings team of tomorrow. Make sure you don't lose everything in your regular bank accounts owned by the crooks that don't care about you only your money. Do you really think they just let your cash sit in a vault until you come pick it up again? Once you deposit it in the banks, it is now their money not yours. The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money. It is a gold savings program that takes the blockchain technology to the next level to protect your savings in gold. The gold is sold in small increments of a gram so it is affordable for everyone. Gold is literally the ultimate hedge against a market crash. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program, do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner work hand-in-hand -hand with each other in protecting your family's finances. Get set up today, before it is too late. The link to the Carrot Bar Savings Program and the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description drop down below. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Get involved in both of these programs today. First article of interest for today. Representative asked to give the government three powers, including sending the budget and appointments. The Parliamentary Labor Committee revealed, on Saturday, that it submitted a parliamentary request to give the government three powers, including sending the budget and appointments. Committee member Fadul al Fatlawi said in an interview reported by Muizay News that the request submitted to the presidency of the House of Representatives includes granting powers to the caretaker government to send a draft budget law and vote on the agreement with China and activate the Federal Service Council. He added, it will also work to activate the Federal Service Council to start granting jobs in the country according to merit. Next article of interest. Parliament votes on the First Amendment of the Federal Financial Administration Law. On Saturday, the House of Representatives voted on the law for the First Amendment of the Federal Financial Administration Law. The correspondent of the information said that the House of Representatives voted on the law of the First Amendment to the Federal Financial Administration Law No. 6 of 2019. The House of Representatives held its current session, headed by Deputy Speaker Hassan al kabi and attended by 185 deputies. Next article of interest. Researcher reveals the value of external and internal debt to Iraq. The president of the independent research group, Munketh Dagger, revealed today, Saturday, the value of external and internal debts on the liability of Iraq, indicating that the total Iraqi debt amounts to $63 billion. Dagger said in a post seen by, Yes in Iraq, that, various numbers are circulated in the media and among specialists about the actual debts of Iraq, and to find out the truth. The independent group used Iraqi official sources to identify these debts. And that, the total Iraqi debt is around $63 billion, about 28% of the gross domestic product, distributed as follows. $38 billion of internal debt. 
$25 billion in external debt, including $10 billion for Paris Club creditors, $6.4 billion are divided between the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, $3.1 billion Kuwait compensation, $2.7 billion for America, and others. He added, there are $41 billion from the days of the previous regime, which are political loans granted to the previous regime from various countries, the most important of which is the Gulf. Iraq has stopped paying it because it was granted outside Security Council resolutions, and whoever wants from creditors to claim it must go to the Paris Club. Most of these can be extinguished politically. Next article of interest. Iraqi PM quietly working to keep U.S. troops in country. Iraq's caretaker Prime Minister privately does not want U.S. troops to withdraw, several American and Iraqi sources familiar with the situation told Al Monitor. Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi attends the funeral of the Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani, head of the Aliquid's Force of the Revolutionary Guard, and the Iraqi militia commander Abu Mahdi al muhandis who were killed in an airstrike at Baghdad Airport, in Baghdad. Iraq, January 4, 2020. Iraq's caretaker Prime Minister privately does not want U.S. troops to withdraw, several sources familiar with the situation told Al Monitor, though Adel Abdul Mahdi publicly backed a recent parliamentary vote that urged the Donald Trump administration to exit the war torn country. Next article of interest Deputy the vote on amending the financial management law will address the problem of the delay in approving the budget. MP Mohammed al we confirmed on Saturday that a vote to amend the financial management law would address the problem of the delay in approving the budget for next year. al we said in a television interview followed by Muwazi News that the amendment came based on the delay in approving the budget due to the failure to form a new government and the inability of the Ministry of Finance to disperse the amounts to the governorates and ministries, so the vote will address the problem of the delay in approving the budget for the next year and opening the doors of exchange. He added, according to the law, ongoing projects will continue to be funded, the contractors' dues will be paid according to the doors of the 2019 budget and funds will be rotated between ministries and governorates to complete the completion of some projects. He pointed out, some governorates did not spend 25% of their allocations, and therefore it was necessary to vote on amending the financial management law. Next article of interest. The U.S. warned Iraq that its access to a key bank account holding billions is in jeopardy if the country expels American troops. The United States government is flexing its muscles to Iraq over the country's threats to oust some 5,300 U.S. troops from the country. The U.S. State Department warned that if its troops are expelled, the U.S. could cut off access to a key Iraqi bank account held at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York that holds billions in oil revenues, Iraqi officials told the Wall Street Journal. Shutting off the spigot to Iraq could squeeze the country's access to cash gumming up its financial system and wreaking havoc on its economy. The warning to Iraq is the latest in the fallout from the U.S. missile strike on Iraqi soil last week that killed a top Iranian general. The United States government is flexing its muscles to Iraq, warning there could be stiff financial consequences if the country follows through on efforts to expel U.S. military forces in response to the U.S. missile strike on Iraqi soil last week that killed a top Iranian general. In light of overtures by Iraqi politicians to remove some 5,300 U.S. troops, the U.S. State Department reportedly threatened that it could cut off access to a key Iraqi account held at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York that holds billions in oil revenues, Iraqi officials told the Wall Street Journal. The New York Fed provides banking services to roughly 250 central banks and other government institutions, according to WSJ. Shutting off the spigot to Iraq could squeeze the country's access to cash gumming up its financial system and wreaking havoc on its economy. The warning is the latest political dust-up resulting from the January 3 assassination of Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani at Baghdad International Airport, 
which has inflamed political tensions in the region. Following the attack, the Iraqi parliament passed a non-binding resolution to oust the U.S. military presence from the country, which earned backing from Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. President Trump responded by threatening sanctions on Iraq if it follows through on the reprisals. Amid Abdul Mahdi's support for the troop expulsion, U.S. officials also reportedly warned the Prime Minister in a call on Wednesday of the potential fallout with the New York Fed and ensuing economic damage. Representatives for the Fed, as well as the State and Treasury Departments, declined to comment to the WSJ. Spokesmen for Iraq's Prime Minister, Central Bank, and Embassy in Washington did not respond to requests for comment. The move to freeze Iraq's assets at the Fed wouldn't be unprecedented. The Federal Reserve has the power to cut off access to funds for countries facing sanctions or if it suspects the money could violate U.S. law, the WSJ reported. It did just that in 2015, halting Iraq's access to its funds at the Fed for several weeks amid suspicions the money was being funneled into the coffers of Iranian banks as well as ISIS. It isn't clear how much of Iraq's money the Fed currently holds but it had $3 billion in overnight deposits from the country's central bank at the end of 2018, according to the Wall Street Journal. Next article of interest. Parliamentary economy. The Iraq agreement with China is a giant unparalleled. Chairman of the Parliamentary Economy and Investment Committee, Ahmed Salam al Ghanani confirmed on Saturday that the agreement signed by Iraq and China last September will enter into force describing the agreement as giant, giant and unparalleled. Kanani said in a statement received Mouazay News, a copy of it, that the Iraq agreement with China entered into implementation, which is a tremendous agreement unparalleled over time in the economic and political history of Iraq that did not get such an agreement oil for construction. Everyone knows the role of China in the global economy and it has the largest presence in all economic sectors and it is considered the second-largest global economy with an estimated total output of $8.8 .8 trillion according to the purchasing power scale and is the fastest-growing large economy in 30 years ago. He added, this agreement included many provisions in addressing all sectors, especially infrastructure and service and projects of large water drainage networks, roads and bridges, as well as in the field of health and the establishment of large and modern hospitals and educational hospitals and in the field of education by establishing schools, universities and educational institutes in the field of communications and technology for the judiciary on corruption and bureaucracy, and in the field of developing agriculture and activating the industrial sector, this giant agreement included all strategic projects including the implementation of the Grand Fa port and other projects presented by the government of Iraq as part of a feasibility study that serves public good. He explained that, within this agreement, Iraq opens a joint account between Iraq and China in a Chinese bank, and Iraq begins exporting and selling oil to Chinese companies with a quantity of 100,000 barrels per day deposited in this joint account in addition to calculating profitable interest on these funds within a banking context known globally, and the China Export Corporation supports the agreed projects within a credit framework and not alone, which serves Iraq to implement these projects. Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog periodically and find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks throughout the day. Download your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner right now, the number one tool made by denarians for denarians. Check it out today, the link is in the description below. Gain the upper hand that the banks don't want you to have. They are counting on you to come in confused, in disarray and not organized. With the Currency Exchange Planner on your side, the banks don't have a chance at pulling the wool over your eyes. Also, Get on board the Blockchain Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free to join, and the program was made so anyone can save in gold and avoid the repercussions of the possible upcoming market crash. One of the true forms of money away from the fiat system, gold. Protect your family's wealth today.
I would not recommend something I do not stand behind and believe in 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below. Get involved now. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.